It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 14th of May. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions, temperatures above average for the most part over the next seven days. That will probably continue beyond that. We are in the heart of the dry season. The exception to this, we will see some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms over northern, maybe parts of eastern Arizona. But here in the south central deserts, just some occasional high clouds. And that's going to be about all we see sensible weather-wise and some breezy conditions during the afternoons at times. All right, let's get into it. The almanac from yesterday, we did it. 100 degrees, the afternoon high, 71, the morning low. Above those averages of 93 and 69, 108 degrees. Oof, that record high. We don't want to see that. We're going to stay below the records at least for a while, but above seasonal averages. Upper-level weather pattern across the nation. We do have some showers and storms for parts of the Gulf Coast and the southeast U.S. Got a little area of low pressure to the west of us, and as a result, some mid- and high-level moisture is seeping into the region. There's even enough moisture around for some widely scattered showers and storms over the higher terrain of northern Arizona and through the Intermountain West, mainly north of the state. We also have another little short wave that's acting on that limited amount of moisture to create some additional showers and storms well to the north and east of Arizona. But for us here in the south central deserts, the air mass is just far too dry. Here's the watch warning map and conditions are extremely quiet across the country. Again, we don't have the legend for this. We probably won't for a while, but I can tell you we have some air quality alerts over northwest Iowa. And here in Maricopa County, we have an air quality alert. This is in effect until 9 p.m. this evening. And the reason for this, and we'll show you the air quality forecast, ozone up in the unhealthy range. Any time you see something over 100, at values about 105 for today forecast here. And so, and again, that could be unhealthy again tomorrow. We may have to see that air quality alert. Actually, this is through 9 p.m. tomorrow. I misspoke. This, is, uh, this uh, alert is in effect through 9 p.m. on Wednesday. And then even after that, we'll see a drop in the uh, ozone levels, but still remaining kind of on the high end of the moderate range. Now, luckily, the PM 2.5, the PM 10, that fine particulate matter, uh, that will stay uh, generally in the good range. Convective outlook for today, we've got the slight risk of severe storms from around Huntsville and Nashville over to, to Atlanta. The marginal risk for the adjacent areas across the southeast U.S., and including parts of Florida, as well as uh, West Texas, and uh, t well to the north and east of Arizona for portions of Wyoming, Colorado, and out into the Plain States. Again, northern and eastern Arizona in the green thunderstorms possible. No organized severe weather anticipated, but um, yeah, we could see some gusty winds in the strongest storms. The precipitation outlook, this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, generally under one-tenth of an inch for the northern part of the state. Although a stray shower or storm could put down a little bit more than that, but Really, the atmospheric conditions don't favor significant precipitation even up there. But if you are heading up to the northern part of the state, doing some camping, hiking, whatever it is you may be doing, traveling through, just be aware of that possibility of showers and storms, particularly during the midday and afternoon hours. All right, let's get into the details of this forecast. To do that, we'll see what's going on with the models, what the future may hold. Here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Troughing in the southeast U.S., a weak low to the west of us and some moisture seeping in, otherwise high pressure over the northeast Pacific. And so what it all means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, a few high clouds, otherwise just mostly sunny, high temperatures, mid to upper 90s. Could we touch the century mark again today? Maybe. We have a forecast range of 95 to 99 for today. Certainly the southwest deserts could get up to around 100. And again, isolated showers and storms to the north of us. Tonight, partly cloudy overnight lows, mid-60s to mid-70s. Yeah, it's getting kind of warm overnight. And then tomorrow, more of the same, mid to upper 90s for the high, mostly sunny, though widely scattered showers and storms possible again across northern Arizona. Thursday, widely scattered, mainly afternoon, showers and storms across northern Arizona. We're dry, mostly sunny. And again, highs uh, generally staying in the mid-90s or so. As we head toward Friday and going toward the weekend, we're going to start to warm it up, unfortunately. Uh, I, I see high temperatures still sitting in the mid to upper 90s, touching about 100 for Saturday. 
maybe 101 or so Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. It really depends on which of our models you, you sort of believe here. But one of those two days could very well be the warmest day of the forecast period. Right now, Sunday is looking pretty toasty, though. Uh, highs could well touch uh, 104 degrees again, Saturday or Sunday. And it's just kind of dependent on how this uh, ridge sets up. Now, troughing is going to try to move in here again by Sunday and Monday. We could see this little baggy trough coming in. All that's going to do is knock temperatures down a few degrees. Uh, the depth and the orientation of this still remains to be seen. But even at that, I still expect temperatures to, to stay just a shade above normal and probably around the triple digits. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday. The 21st, got troughing to the north of us, northwest of us, a little baggy trough here, southwest to westerly flow aloft. We look dry, relatively seasonal, maybe a couple of degrees above normal. Going out 10 days, this is Thursday the 23rd, and we've got a trough moving through the northern plain states. Around here, it's just more of the same dry westerly flow, temperatures close to, if not just a skosh, above seasonal averages. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble out through the 28th of the month. You've got a smattering of members that have either a trace or a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. The Ensemble mean is under two hundredths of an inch. So significant precipitation or any precipitation really just not expected here. And more or less the same story from the European Ensemble. 51 members, you've got one, two, three, four, five that have measurable rain or, if that, maybe just a trace. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Yep, highs generally in the mid-90s to about 103 or so for the next uh, 10 days. Pretty typical stuff, maybe just a little bit above normal, but nothing record-breaking for the next 10 days. Overnight lows at least in the mid-city, mostly in the 70s. Yuck. Of course, that'll, that'll sound real pleasant by the time we get into latter June, July, and August. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe. When you click that subscribe, by the way, and, and, and the notifications and all that, make sure that you click all on the notifications, all right? Subscribe, like, share, click all on those notifications so that whenever we post a brand new video, you will be notified of that. Um, your comments, questions, suggestions, always encouraged. And if you really like what we do here, click that thanks icon below the video, just like Renee Mason did yesterday and made a very generous donation to this channel and really do appreciate that. She said her and uh, Steve. I really appreciate these videos, and uh, well, I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you, of course, uh, everybody that watches this, because without you guys, why would we be here? The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. There's the banner. Talking about my Michelle, so do check her out. Check out Sweet Child. She does a great job over there. She's going to have another blog coming up very soon. If you haven't checked out her site and her blogs and all of that, I mean, what are you waiting for? It's great content, so go and do that. Or, of course, and or, uh, in the description, Michelle has her travel videos from her trip to the Philippines uh, last year, and you want to check that out too. Or, and or, Check out our streaming station called KMGX. We play a ton of music and have a lot of fun with that. So, so much stuff linked up in the description. And my PayPal address if you want to donate directly to me, grofshow at gmail.com. That's down there too. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. Have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Tuesday.